So Asus have finally added the much anticipated AMD Fluid Motion frame to the RG Ally in today's 1.4.13 Armory Crate update. Let's go through all the top fixes and new features, how to enable Fluid Motion frames on the RG Ally, plus 4 tips to get the very best out of Fluid Motion games. So let's dive straight in and just a quick note in that I really wanted to do this vid last night on Wednesday but this new Armory Crate 1.4.13 update just wasn't available to download for some reason. However the flashing RGB thumbsticks today I guess indicates that the update is available. So after a quick restart yes it is ready to go. First of all, there's a brand new iGPU driver that's available to update through the Armory Crate app in version 31.0, right here that adds support for AMD Fluid Motion frames, and also offers a Final Fantasy X HD remaster fix for when certain textures may become invisible. Next, a brand new MCU update, which is version 3.17, is also available to update from Armory Crate, and this now supports other keys as trigger keys. For example, the rear M1 button can now be assigned as the left trigger, which is neat. I'll take a close look at this in just a moment. Now let's look at the 4 key updates to Armory Crate 1.4.13 which of course should now be available to download for all of us. The first is as I just mentioned that 1.4.13 now allows us to allocate other keys to be used as trigger keys. So before the update, click X on the game, in the key mapping area, say we click on M1, then primary button, the left and right triggers are greyed out. So you can see here that I've just updated to the new 1.4.13 Armory Crate update and also the new MCU 3.17 update too. So when we now head back into the game library, select a game, again press X to access its game profile, go to the key mapping, press M1, then the primary button, we can now see that both the left and right triggers are now available to select. This is a really nice addition to now have. The second feature is that the issue in Update Center that sometimes happens where AMD graphic card driver updates could experience timeouts should now be resolved. I don't think I've ever experienced timeouts when updating the AMD graphic card driver updates right here, but if you have then do let us know in the comments. The third update is that when using the new AMD Fluid Motion frames, there will now be added information to the real-time monitor overlay. Let's take a close look at this. So before the update, when we click on real time monitor, minimal looked like this, row appeared like this, and finally square looks like this. And now after the update, we now have a new fluid motion frames info section on minimal, on row it now appears like this, and finally on square it now looks like this. There is a much more accurate way of measuring FPS using fluid motion frames that instead of this overlay I'll come on to in a moment. And the fourth and final update to Armory Crate is that the display speed in game library should now be enhanced. So let's take a closer look at this and before the update the display speed I thought was pretty decent. There wasn't any noticeable lag from what I could tell. And now after the update the display speed looks like this. For me personally, I can't tell a massive difference, perhaps it is slightly smoother, but let us know what you think in the comments. Just before we look at how to enable fluid motion frames, did you know that almost 97% of you amazing viewers aren't subscribed to the channel yet? Can I ask a small favour and that if you've ever liked a video then it would be awesome if you could sub and help the channel hit 5,000 subscribers before the end of April. Thanks so much. Okay, so after you've updated to the new 1.4.13 update, you'll find that Fluid Motion Frames is not yet available in Command Center, but ASUS are working to integrate it in the future. Let's now enable Fluid Motion Frames globally in all games on the RG Ally by going into the AMD Software app, click on the Gaming tab, click the Graphics tab, scroll down to the AMD Fluid Motion Frames section, and then simply make sure that it is enabled using this button. If you only want to enable fluid motion frames on a game by game basis, then go into the AMD software app, click on the game in tab, click the games tab, just select the game that you want to enable fluid motions on, then just scroll down and enable the AMD fluid motion frames. Now let's look at 4 tips when using fluid motion frames after our gorgeous rescue cat pancake. The 
first tip is to remember that while fluid motion frames can make games feel smoother, it can also introduce some additional input lag. So a try and see approach is definitely recommended. Because of this, fluid motion games is recommended to be used with AMD Radeon Anti-Lag to minimize latency within games. Tip two is that the default hotkey to enable and disable fluid motion frames is Alt, Shift and G, which is super handy to know. Tip three is a reminder that fluid motion frames currently requires games to be played only in full screen mode and also with VSync disabled, so don't forget to do this. And finally for tip 4 to get the proper and most accurate FPS counter when using fluid motion games, make sure that you turn off the RG Ally real time monitor and head into the AMD software app, go to performance, go to metrics, on the right hand side overlay section click the enable metrics overlay and also the game detection buttons and in tracking select FPS plus any other info you'd like. So using this AMD real-time monitor instead, it's this one that will give us the true and most accurate info regarding AMD fluid motion frames. I'd love to hear what you think of this new Army Crate 1.4.13 update and also your thoughts and tips for AMD fluid motion frames. So do let our fantastic ally community know in the comments. Be sure to like if you found this helpful and as a thank you for watching right to the end of the video, I'd love to share this awesome quote. No matter what you're going through today, don't quit. Don't feel defeated. You are doing the best you can. Remember, giving up is not who you are. You may pause, take a long breath, pivot or find solutions, but always keep going. So many times in life we feel like quitting and giving up, but don't get discouraged. Just keep moving forward and things will work out for the best in the end. So stay encouraged today, guys. And check these video out if you want to know seven things I wish I knew before getting the RG Ally parts one and two. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.